for videos. Okay, so here's another video uh, coming out of my Friday afternoon uh, co-learning for Kubernetes. Uh, have a good day. See you, Double Thanks. Thank you for your input. This is really great. And one of the topics keeps coming up is how to prepare and where to where to go to 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 prepare. And uh, somebody on YouTube, William asks, is there an, an hack the box like version of Kubernetes that you can study with? And and a few people chimed in and said that killer.sh is the place to go. We're going to visit it in just a second. But and then we had several people uh, in the in the Twitch live chat. We got you know 40, 50, 60 people on right now. And several of them have done it. Some of them say that they get mixed impressions with it. Some of them have said that Kilo.Stage is, is harder than the CKA exam, so that would mean it's good preparation. Uh, my initial feeling about Kilo.Stage is that it's not what I would use to do the job. And uh, I'm going to actually make a video just about that. But the, the primary criteria I have for deciding whether something is going to go into my study plan is how close to the real thing is it um and you kind of have to tweak that a little bit because that criteria will get you a better yeah the exams have two killer at sh exam attempts included really uh wait what is that so according oh right i remember reading that so let's go get that link thank you for that link uh copy link location i read this i read this the other day so the the reason for this is because I actually read all about that post. That post about whether so the it sounds like the Cooper the Cloud Native Foundation. I'm putting words in their mouth, but it sounds like they had people that weren't familiar with the web-based environment, which is an interactive Linux terminal through the web. And they, for example, you can only use Vim and Nano. You can't use any other editor. Uh, and that 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 turned out to be uh, a stumbling block. So they they included uh, two attempts to use. Um, so this is June 2nd, 2021. This is new information. This is like last month. So they added two Kilo.sh attempts to, to work on it. So Kilo.sh, I, I assume, is a preparation for this. Uh, set up, uh, the exam is based on solving problems that might not occur on AWS or GCP. Uh, set up from scratch a cluster and do snapshots and finalize internal bugs and stuff. Yeah. So it does include set, you know, some infra stuff in addition to the Kubernetes stuff for the CKA. Uh, I understand based on that, that the CKD is easier because it doesn't deal with as much infrastructure stuff. That's what I'm told. I haven't taken it yet. This is, again, this is me preparing for this. So should I do killer.sh or not? Well, what is killer.sh? Uh, uh, let's go read about it. You have to have JavaScript enabled because I'll give him a buy on this. I'll go. We'll let that go because this is a simulator, so it does need JavaScript. If you're writing a documentation website, though, and you require JavaScript, you are the devil. Um, yeah, okay, so here's the simulator. Get started. The, the, the main question I have about Killer SH, which I have not answered yet, is how close, uh, how close is Killer.sh to the actual exam uh, system? And I'm going to suggest that it's probably the same. So for the reason I'm asking that question is, can I use Tmux? Now, I asked somebody from the exam, and they said, yes, Tmux is on there. So I'm a multi-terminal guy, and, and that's the way I'm going to do it. So back to the criteria about whether I use a thing for my preparation. I don't believe in using emulations of things when you can use the real thing to learn, uh, when possible. And because it's just, it's, it, it's counterintuitive. You learn how to do the emulator environment really well, but then when you get put on the job, you can't do it because you've been using the emulator too much. And I've seen this over and over again. Uh, however, you in this particular case, the exam that you have to take is an emulated environment. So I might be a you know really great Kubernetes admin based on learning real tools and, or you know single node clusters with kind and stuff like that, or you know uh, actually you know setting up a bunch of Raspberry Pis with actual Kubernetes and you know running the whatever setting up the infrastructure directly using Ansible or whatever kind of scripts that I'm have to do to set that all up. I'm end up being a you know really great Kubernetes administrator, but can I take those skills and use them on the exam test? And so this is where you always have a disconnect between an exam, right? At least it's not a multiple choice exam, but it is encapsulated in a web browser. So as soon as you have an exam that's encapsulated in a web browser, you have to be okay with that specific system. And that is the exact reason that they this this blog post here. Uh, uh, looks like it's, uh, oops, that's the wrong one. That's the exact reason that they are, 
are, are doing that. So so here's the URL, Linux Foundation Kubernetes certifications now include exam simulator. The reason they added that is because they wanted to get people and you know used to the system. So like for example, I do things in my VI uh, that in some emulated environments are not trapped and would screw up the web browser. So I like that they have killer.sh there for you to do that. Um, it does, the, the fact that it includes two killer.sh attempts makes me think that, you know, using kill, killer, uh, killer is, is probably good. Uh, killer.sh attempts uh, included uh, in cost, in the 500 cost of exam. Uh, I have nothing to do with killer.sh. Uh, I've never used them. I don't know anything about them. Uh, I'm not the type of guy to, to promote stuff on my on my YouTube. Uh, I just that's just not how I am. So I have a full time job, so you can know that I'm not selling you something. Um, uh, okay, so we we have that there. Um, I'm inclined to do this, but that not not yet. Uh, what does Docker have to do with Kubernetes? We're gonna we're gonna talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about that for sure. Okay, so the so the answer here is should you use killer.sh? Uh, yes, you definitely should. Should you get a subscription to killer.sh? I don't know. You know, maybe not. Uh, but you definitely should because not the subscription, but you should use killer.sh because when you buy the exam, you get two free examples tests to do. So so you might as well, right? See you later. Um, 25 scenarios, access to 25 CKS practice scenarios. Uh, and there are uh, alternatives to killer.sh out there, uh, particularly O'Reilly, which I, I would love to evaluate as well. Um, but what I am, this is, see, here you go, the CKM exam environment. We provide you with access to a test environment that comes close to the real one. Our CK simulator comes with 25 complex scenarios and, and to solve in 120 minutes plus five extra ones. After the test session, you will get access to the detailed solutions. So, so there. Uh, don't panic Kubernetes and Docker in regards to the thing. Yeah. That's a great recommendation. Okay, so let's come back to that. So the answer, the quick answer for killer.sh is uh, even if you, even if you don't buy an account on killer.sh, uh, I, I, I have not decided whether I'm going to buy one or not. How much does it cost? I, I don't like having to buy preparations that are not the real thing. I would rather use the docs and work through it myself. But there is some value in having people that know what's going to be on the test. Uh, it, this looks like it's really helped out a lot of people. Uh, th this is this is kind of plays into my whole certifications are a scam thing, you know, because it's like a whole ecosystem of people that pro promote that. What did you make me? Coffee? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, my wife is the best, bestest ever. Become a technologist so you can marry a nice wife who brings you coffee. <laughs> I don't know if it's related. The two exams included is more than enough, I believe. Also, looking in the game of pods. Yeah, I don't know what that is about. Okay, so I think I just made my decision. I don't even know what this is going to cost yet. And any anytime I go to a site and they hide the cost, I'm done. If the cost is not right front and center because you want to suck people in and then you want to tell them what it costs... Screw it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Just not. Uh, full course in theory. Plus, the way other people teach, I don't like how people teach. I have a very specific way that I like to learn, and this I want to be in charge of my own learning. And I've gotten really used to doing that. So I am not going to pay for a killer .sh. I, I, It's probably a great thing. I'm sure some people will really love it, but I'm not. I'm going to stick with the docs. I'm going to create my own scenarios that are based on my real work every day because I've been hired as an infrastructure engineer to do Kubernetes and I'm struggling to catch up. I'm going to build my own scenarios just like you could do and I'm going to research the internet about what those scenarios are uh, and lean ideas from any possible area and I'm going to build my own scenarios and I'm going to work on those scenarios using an actual Kubernetes environment, uh, two Kubernetes environments, um, uh, a single node cluster using kind and a, an actual cluster using Raspberry Pis and old Mac minis and crap that I have around the house. That's how I'm going to prepare. So I don't need killer.sh, but I will welcome the opportunity to use killer.sh as soon as I sign up for the exam. When I sign up for the exam, then I'm going to go do the killer.sh stuff and get, get used to it that way. So that's my answer there. Hey, look, I did it with only four seconds to spare.